All right, so you guys saw what they are. You saw the new wheels. They are Vors, V-O-R-S. I, I don't know how you say that. I would assume it's Vors or Vors. Uh, TR4, they are 18 by eight and a half and have a 35 offset. I'm running my stock tires still. You know, I, I've seen um, a lot of guys talk about the stock tires not being great. I don't mind them. They're plenty quiet for me. They seem to grip well. We'll see how they do in the snow. But, um, I mean, coming from my, my Honda, the good, I think there were good years on that one. They were loud as crap. They sounded like an all-terrain tire on a truck. Obviously, that car probably didn't have as much sound deadening as this, too. But, yeah, so those are the wheels. Um, you know, some of the questions I've had on the groups are, are you going to lower the car? I don't know. Probably not, because I ordered a uh, lip kit from M&S America, and the Veloce or Velos or Velosi, I don't know how you say it. Um, I ordered that lip kit from them, and those are kind of pricey for what they are, but I think they're one of the better looking designs. Like all the eBay ones, like I've got an eBay lip. They're okay, um, but they're kind of a little much for, I don't know, I mean, they'd look good on maybe like a sportier car. I mean, I know these cars are kind of sporty for a midsize sedan, but I just think they're just a little bit much unless your car's lowered and has some other stuff. So um, order that, that's supposed to come today. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna show you the hub centric rings and the spline lug nuts I got. So hold on, let me switch hands here. So um, the factory lug nuts won't work with your wheels. So luckily I had the nuts from my wheel spacers that I could use. So the night before I was going to install or have these uh, wheels or the tires put on the wheels at the tire shop, I'm like, well, I'm gonna try these lug, these cheap lug nuts I ordered on Amazon, the spline lug nuts. Cause in the past, like with my trucks, they've all kind of been the same quality and stuff. These were not the case. First one I put on stripped. I don't know if it was like, they have too much coating in the threads cause they're black. I don't know if it's like, I think they're powder coated or what but the first one i put on there just butchered us like crap so luckily i had the lug nuts from my wheel spacers that fit in the wheels and that's what's on there now so i also ordered hub centric rings so i'll kind of explain to that that um when i install them but basically aftermarket wheels are typically a different size than your hub so right now all the way to the car is solely on the lug nuts or at the uh, wheel studs. So, um, lug studs. Man, I can't talk. Sorry, I haven't had any caffeine yet. So, the hub centric rings will basically put the wheel flush with the hub. That way, the hub is also supporting the weight of the car. I don't think it's necessary. I know there's plenty of people out there not running hub centric rings, but I've always ran them. I think you get less vibration. I think it's just kind of closer to how the engineers intended when they made the factory wheels that mount right up to the hub. So just a personal preference. I don't think that's something you have to have, but I think it's good to have. So uh, I'll do an install videos on those or an install video on those and I'll put links into what I ordered. I think the, the hub centric rings were like 10 or 15 bucks. Got aluminum ones. Um, the lug nut kit was 20. So I will put those in the description and I'll kind of show you how I'm going to install them and give you a little bit more close up of the wheels. Hope you guys like the wheels. I was going to originally do um, gloss black, but everybody has gloss black wheels. I know they look great on this car. I decided to try hyper black and I'm glad they did. I'm glad I did because with the sapphire blue, I think it just looks clean, a little bit different. Um, and the finish on these wheels just looks great. I'm, I'm sure pictures and video won't do them justice, but uh, in person, it's a nice deep colored finish. Um, I wouldn't even call it just a simple gray because the, the coating or whatever they put on over the paint, I would assume it's a two stage deal, maybe not. Just has a lot more depth than a regular gray. So anyways, I'll show you up close to those. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back to the garage and we'll start installing. Okay, so like I was saying, I just use the generic nuts I had from my uh, wheel spacers, <clears throat> and they worked. It's just kind of janky. So, uh, side note, look at that blue paint. 
Such a pretty color. I need to wipe it down a little. I just hosed it off earlier at the car wash. So anyways, I'm gonna get my, uh, see I've got a Harbor Freight car with a matching Harbor Freight jack here. So we'll jack it up, zip that wheel off. I'll show you the hub centric rings and then I'll zip this wheel back down and show you uh, the lug nuts I got. And like I said, I'll send a link of what to get and what not to get. So you look here. <coughs> These are the ones I ordered, okay? And let me flip you. Sorry to move you around so much. We'll get it over here in the light. So like I said, I think there was this, I don't know, too much powder coat or something in these cheap ones, but they just stripped out like right away. And I've never, I've never had that problem with any lug nuts really, unless something gets cross threaded, which you know is just free Loctite. So definitely gonna be sending those back. Um, Orion Motor Tech, never heard of them. So, yeah, here, I'll, and I'll show you what I got. I got KSP, which I think that's the brand of the wheel spacers I used. Hold on, I think I heard UPS outside for my lift kit. Nope. Somebody's getting plumbing done. Super lame. So, anyways, <clears throat> these are the ones I ordered. And I mean, just, just touching them, just looking at them, when you just look at it, they are way higher quality. I mean, the threads are just cleaner. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, and then they came with the tool right over here. Sorry, I've got a mess in here. Um, so yeah, it comes with your locking wrench and stuff, socket, whatever you want to call it. So anyways, I'm going to zip those off there, and I'll kind of show you how those um, hub-centric rings are. Hear me. I should have got everything together before I started this. So that's what I got. Here, we'll open those up. So see that? beveled edge there so that's just gonna go slide right onto the hub and then the wheel goes on top of that and they're like i said they're just a little more secure that way i think so i'm not an engineer but you know anytime you can have the wheel on a more stable seating than just the lug nuts i think is a good thing or the lug studs i can't talk today still but i have had caffeine so yeah here i'll zip these off and i'll show you what i'm talking about okay so See, those just slide right on there, just like so. And you can see, like I said, that little edge goes towards the back. And then, try to do this without it rolling away. That just fits in here, super snug, just like that. That way this hub rests right on, right on that instead of having all the weight of the car on the studs so like i said i don't know how much of a difference that really makes but um it's what the oems do so usually oem knows best on a lot of things not everything so yeah i'm gonna uh put this on i'll show you how the lug nuts look on there i'll wrap this up all right guys there you have it torqued down here's what the black nuts look like here's what i got um, I'll just throw a link in the description because it doesn't look like they have a part number or anything on there, but they are M12 by 1.5 is what you need. So yeah, like I said, I, I like the way the black, black ones look on there. They just look a little cleaner, I think, than these crappy things. So I'm glad you could join me to, uh, hear about proper nut care. And uh, next video should be that lip kit. I'm going to install that. Hopefully, I'm going to install video and stuff. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Please like, subscribe, share. I might do a, a giveaway for my old wheel spacers because they're still good. They maybe have, you can see, they maybe have a 1,000 miles on them. They're still pretty much, like, brand new. So, maybe we'll do a giveaway video. Uh, comment down below if that's something you guys would be interested in. So, 
anyways, hope you enjoyed this. Have a great weekend. We'll catch you all in the next one.